Hi, I'm John DeArmond. And I'm Edward. And we're with the Kokeo Valley Sora Group. And today we're going over the Jodan Kata, second of the Nito Seho. So for this, Eddie will be Uchidachi, the bad guy. I will be Shirachi, the good guy. And uh, let's go ahead and go through. We'll run through it once just to demonstrate, and then we'll break down the individual parts. All right, so from the beginning, Eddie begins as all good Uchidachis do in Tatezen. He presses to Chudan and I flippity flap up to Chudan, making sure my back is good. He pushes into Hasso. I respond by pushing into Jodan. He takes three steps, each knee, son, and he is going to strike straight down, trying to clear my sword with the idea of clearing and then stepping in and thrusting before I can bring this into play. So go ahead and step back. I am going to Kisaki Gaishi and do a low Juji Dome. So Juji Ju is 10. Juji Dome, it's a figure 10 block. He's pinned, can't go up, he gotta go back. He goes back. I come to a very aggressive gate on here. Both tips are pointed at him. I want him to, I want him to, to feel a little uh, rrr, shimmy shimmy, right? He's gonna take a swack at my head because he doesn't swing that way. Boom! Jujidome up top. Now I have control. I will use my long sword to fling his sword off to the side as I circle my swords. As he retreats, I step. Koshinmi, hanmi, right? I take the forearm, which he raises and turns out nicely so that I don't hit any bones. Bah! Right? Pretty simple, pretty easy. He begins his retreat as we both push to shoot on. He begins Kamayo Toku, chicken steps, and away we go. This kata is uh, pretty interesting. In the Chudan Kata, it's all about holding the center and working in this sort of, uh, yeah, in this central space with Jodan, right? We'll do it once facing the camera. I'll stay back a little bit so you can actually see the swords. Sword goes off, sword circle, cut, push, steady, right? The idea here is about controlling what goes on along this vertical axis. So, and it's not just the vertical axis, it's the length distance between the two of us. First kata, bad guy's coming at us for real, right? He's at good distance. This kata, he's really got this sense of uh, barely reaching, of, of furthest, fur, farthest, farness to us. I can speak sometimes. Now, in the kata itself, this isn't this isn't shown by an actual change in distance. It's more of a, a feeling. A, a sense that Teki, that uh, Uchidachi bad guy, gives off. So, we're in here, right? We're in this Jodan position, this sort of like, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, right? Because people are not dumb, right? You go like this, and if they know anything about sword fighting, they know, okay, well, he, 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 he's gonna move my sword out of the way and try and swack me with that ready swack, right? And he's right, 100% right. And so he's trying to stay out of the way of this, right? He's trying to see if his work opens anything up. If it starts to break apart my position, starts to create opportunity for him. 
right? But that is not what goes down. What goes down is this suppression, Junji Dome, the lower one, right? From here, can't push up, he's gotta go back, right? He goes back, wah, and I'm right in his biscuits, right? He wants to get away, and I'm pushing him. I'm like, no, we're staying stupid close, stupid close. We're in, we're in one cut, he can probably reach me, right? Yep, right, real close. This is dangerous, right? He goes to swing, oh! And again, I've got that jujidome, that up high. He can't bring his sword low, because he's in danger of me kicking off to either side. And since he can't defend both sides at once, he wants to stay in this elevated position where at least he's created this sort of uh, pressure bridge between us, like an old Roman bridge, right? I don't want it because with this, he is able to actually control and manage two of my swords with, with one of one. his, right? Now, for the kata, we deal with that by throwing. He retreats. And we take that forearm and we go for the push. Now, there is a lot going on here, but I think we're gonna save that for the application video. Um, there, there's a lot of sneaky ninja stuff going on. Well, there's tons of sneaky ninja shit going on. <sighs> Hard parts. <clears throat> yes. There really aren't any. The beginning position is easy. The capture to Jujidome is easy. The capture to Jujidome here is easy. Uh, be sure you don't stare at him with your spine. Just try and keep your ends on the metsuke. Eyes a distant mountain, real wide. Don't try and follow his sword. Put up the net, let the fish come into it. Thup. Thup. Also, very easy. Push. Push and chamber. So push, I bring it around like a hasso, and this one just clicks. Push, right? Always circles. Very easy. Okay. Um, so there's really not, uh, isn't a hard part here. Um, we didn't mention this with the last kata, um, but as always, up till now, you have a pause and a no pause version. Um, as for the imbu version, some, I have seen demonstrations where they move, uh, everything's the same until here, and then they, wah, wah. And, and, and they get like, like, whoa, really big. It's just for show, don't do that. <laughs> please, please, please don't. Um, unless you're trying to impress people, you know, lure them in flour instead of the nut. Yeah. Hello? The pause version, or the no pause version is, is not appreciably different, right? We just walk up and he swings. Bop! And then the timing is the same the whole way through. Nothing, nothing special. So, really pretty easy kata. Uh, if you want to understand this work, you have to pick up a sword and go train. <laughs>